Okay, we're going to go ahead and start skill six, which is multiplying polynomials. So go ahead and get out your notebook, paper, or whatever you would like to take notes with. We're going to go ahead and start taking notes. So there's two methods we will work with. We're going to call one of them the box method. And the other, the distribution method. So we have box method and distribution method. I'm going to go ahead and show this in two different ways. Use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. So if I did distribution. I would multiply both of those by 4a to the 4th. So like everyone on the inside, the parentheses got a 4a to the 4th. And then I'd simplify that 24a to the 5th, 12a to the 13th. If I did the box method, I'd make this a uh, one box by two box. And then inside the box is multiplying those. So that's a to the fifth, 6, 12, 18, 24, a to the fifth, 4, 8, 12, a, and then you would add the a's and you get 13. And then I have those two terms. So that is the box method. We'll continue to practice these. I will probably be doing the box method most of the time, but I'll go back and forth. It does not matter which method you use as long as you pick one and are comfortable with it. So moving on to the next one. I want you to try this one on your own. Pick a method and try it. Ultimately, we want to make sure everyone, every term is getting multiplied by a negative 4x to the third. So you pick a method. I'm going to do the box first. Or if I did distribution, I would multiply every term by this negative 4y to the third. and I'd still get the same answer. So I'm probably only gonna do one method from here on out. Or this will be the last, yeah. I'm only gonna do one method here. I'm gonna do box. You guys can pause and do this on your own. It's pretty simple.
And that's what that would look like once we combined those. So now I have a two by a two. So if I were to do this with a box, I'd have my two a my minus one and my four a my minus seven, and I'd fill in each box. So then when I write these out, I try to think about what like terms I have that I can combine. Those are both like terms because they both have an A. So that's what that would look like. If I were to do it with box, it would look something like foil. Or if I were to use the distribution method, it would look something like foil. First term. So that's where you get the first outer terms. Inner. Last terms. And I'd get the same 8a squared this should have been a negative 18a over here And that's what that ends up looking like. These I can rewrite as two binomials multiplied by each other. I'm going to go ahead and use box for this one. If you want to foil, that's fine. Um, and then I'm going to have you guys try the other one in a second on your own. We'd have once again we can combine like terms here. These are both W's so we can easily combine those. I want you guys to pause your screen try this one on your own. If I were to box that, u and 7, u and 7. And these would be our answers for these. Okay, go ahead and pause your screen and try this one on your own. So you want to decide if you do box or distribution method. It does not matter which one. I am biased to the box method, so I'm going to use the box. And then when I write these out, I see that I can combine those two A's. And this is what I get as my answer. Okay, now we have a three 
a trinomial by a binomial, so three terms by two terms. If I were to do this as a box, I'm going to do fill in a box that looks like that. And then I'm just going to rewrite this and think about which ones I can combine. And that's what I get because I can combine those are like terms and these are like terms if I did it with boiling or distribution I would give everything a y, a nine y, or a six y. And then I give everything a A five. So I'd have plus five times seven y squared plus five times four y. I ended up with, ooh, I dropped my 2 there, which would be 42. I'd end up with the same answers as the other side. It just looked a little And then I can combine like terms. I ended up with the same answers on both sides. Okay, go ahead, pause the screen. I want you to try this one by yourself. It's just like the last one. I'm only going to do a box method for my own sanity.
And that's what I'd end up with. So basically, when we multiply polynomials, we have two different methods we can use. Box method and distribution method. They get you the same answers, and you're basically writing the same numbers, just in different formats. 